be mean. Mm. <laughs> Hi guys, this is Inspire and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be talking about this question that I get like all the time on Instagram. Before we continue, be sure to follow me on all socials at Hey It's Inspire, right? Hit the subscribe button, like, share the video, and hit the no notification bell. The notification bell, not belt. Hit the notification bell. Right, so the question that I get asked time and time and time. I just wanted some advice on how to become a dancer. So, since I've been getting that question a lot, I'm just going to share my journey with you guys and hopefully, hopefully this will inspire you guys and help you guys out if you are deciding to start your dance journey. So, how did I start my dance journey? So, I moved back to Jamaica in 2018 after studying economics and finance at the University of South Florida, Cobles. Right away, my first, the very first tip I can give you is to network. You have to network. So, here are ways that you can network as a dancer. Take a class from the dancers that you see doing well in the industry. They must have something golden to teach you that can help you along your journey. So take a class from us. I took a class from Kimiko Versita. We got Kimiko all the time when I just came. And from there, guys, I promise you, Kimiko just started to recommend me for jobs or say, hey, she even asked me the first time she met. She was like, we're going to a party tonight. I want to come and never get to go. But you know, like... They, they love meeting new dancers as well. So reach out to us, take our class, come and visit us, go to the events that you know that we go to. We're not partying right now because of the pandemic. However, just find some things where I happen. Look at what's happening in the scene and show your face. So again, take a class, go to a party, reach out to them on Instagram. Make sure that you are interacting with their stuff on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, whatever it is. Comment under them posts. You know, like up them things. Respond to their stories. Start a conversation in their DMs. Whatever you need to do, just you need to get yourself known in the dance community. So, network. Right. If you already have another dancer that you are close to, collaborate with them. One of my first collaborations when I came back to Jamaica, I believe, was with Kissy. Kissy and I went downtown and we shot a video. And, you know, we were already like kind of chit-chatting on Instagram because I was networking. So I networked with her a little bit. And then we both decided to do a video together. So that's another way. Try to collaborate with somebody who is in the industry or a friend who you already know that dances so that people can see that, you know, you know other dancers, whether it's a known dancer or an unknown dancer, right? So the next advice that I have to give to you is social media is the in thing, right? If it is that you want to become an industry dancer, meaning... You want to be in music videos, commercials, you want to get booked for shows, or you even want to start teaching classes. Nobody wants to hear, yeah man, she can dance. Me know one girl who can dance. Okay, send me her IG. Yeah, send me his IG. Let me see what him can do. And then them go find your page and knock me the on it. Go find your page, your page lock. Open it up. <laughs> open it up so go i don't know you can film with your phone it don't have to be no fancy video when you're starting out yes it's good to have a few professional videos but really and truly you can make some pretty dope stuff with the phone so create something or better yet if there are choreographers in the industry 
learn their choreography and post it and tag them and send it to them and beg your friend them tag them and send it to them yeah that's also another way of networking so you need a page to have proof that you can dance we need to know that you can actually dance and that you're good at it we need to know say you can do your facial expressions tick up your body wind up your body show them the best things about you as a dancer and whatever it is that you are good at you need to have that on your page so that when people are looking for people and then go find your page and say yeah man this girl or this guy bad need them not the video need them not the commercial need them not the show All right the last tip that i would give you guys is i would say that when you're starting out it is important to stay true to who you are as a dancer so whatever your style is whatever type of music you like to dance to or you know however you like to move ensure that you are you have discovered that or you have a general idea of what that is so that when you come into the industry nobody can take you and turn you into something else you'll always be you so from the moment i started out in this industry people always look at me and say a girl that looks like she come from foreign she dance she, she not really do dance I'm not, this this not really dance all right or well, she mix it up with so much different something yeah get criticism some people thought it was cool some people think it cool and still criticize it and that is fine at the end of the day, I just saw my move, I just saw my dance, and I'm not gonna change that for anybody. Like, that is the real me. Mind you, when I say I'm not gonna change that, it don't mean that if you put me in a dance hall piece or whatever other type of piece that there is, I'm not going to do the choreography and do it right, but and still look uniformed and you're not looking tuned with everybody else but you'll still see me you'll still see me and i really just don't want anybody to come here and you know try to become another dancer or another choreographer or you know try to look like somebody else you have to figure out what it is that your body looks like how it looks best and what feels the best when you move so that is the most important tip actually ensure that you stay true to who you are and that you take the time to discover the way that your body moves and your unique style before you throw yourself into an industry that is trying to get everybody to kind of look the same so that is it i hope this was helpful if you guys have any more questions or things that you would like me to talk about on my youtube channel just drop a little comment drop a nice little comment i'll see you guys in my next video